good, magnificent, and joyous Monday, brothers. This is Monday Morning Musings, and I am Timothy Andrew, the host of From the Basement Podcast. The topic for today is going to be God's requirements of us. So let us look at Micah 6, verse 8. He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do just and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. I will try to break this verse down for you. Taking the first requirement, do justice. Even if the way to do justice is to give others their due. But remember, brothers, that giving justice is okay, but we need to do so in the alignment of God's word and God's character. Otherwise, our justice will ultimately be unjust. Let's look at Romans 12, verses 17 and 18. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Brothers, here we are directed to not repay evil for evil, but be honorable in everyone's sight, so we may live live peaceably. I encourage you, brothers, in all your actions, that they be honorable in everyone's sight, but especially in the sight of our loving God. Let's turn to the next chapter, Romans 13, verses 5 through 8. Therefore, one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. For because of this, you also pay taxes. For the authorities are ministers of God. Attending to this very thing, pay to all what is owed to them. Taxes to whom taxes are owed, revenue to whom revenue is owed, Respect to whom respect is owed. Honor to whom honor is owed. Owe no one anything except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. In this chapter in Romans, we are told to be in subjection so that we may avoid God's wrath. Brothers, I don't know about you, but I personally do not want to bring the wrath of God upon myself. We are also instructed to pay what we owe. Yes, even to the tax man as well. Respecting those that deserve our respect. Again, honor is brought up that we need to honor those that have honored us ultimately. Summing things up to owe nothing to anybody except love. Brothers, all of this aligns up with God and his character. God is the one who will judge us in the end. Turn to Psalms 97, verses 1 and 2. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Brothers, if righteousness and justice is the foundation of God's throne, should it not also be the foundation in our own lives? Let me close in a word of prayer. Our Holy Heavenly Father, we come to you as sinners, but because of you, we have been given a way out. We are thankful and grateful for everything that you have done for us, are still doing for us, as well as will do for us. For this, we are eternally grateful. In your precious and glorious name, amen. Brothers, I encourage you to go to my website, fromthebasement.org, fill out the comments and feedback, And if you have ideas that you would like me to look at, please send them to me. All feedback and comments are kept private. Thank you for your listening support, and have a blessed week, my brothers and friends.